What's up, nerds? Welcome to another episode of Nerdy Entertainment Syndicate. Today we're coming to you from, I think, I think I'm good with setting this place as our permanent home, up in the watchtower just above the atmosphere of the earth. I would like to disagree. I'm more of a mansion kind of guy, you know, technology at my hands, you know, a little bit of either a Baxter building or, uh, you know. Well, I'd, I'd say we try this out for a while, <laughs> see how this fits. Hopefully you can sign the lease. No contract. Nothing right? yet. Oh. Nothing yet. Actually, with technology nowadays, you can probably do it from Earth somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm up here hanging out. So what's up, Drew? This is Lowe's. What's up, everybody? This is Drew. Um, we got a special guest with us today. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, guys. Um, this is Nick. Uh, happy to be here. First time nerdy experimental syndicate. So, you know, this is cool. Can check it out. Thanks for joining us, Nick. He's a buddy from work. Uh, Everybody we can shoot the shit with with nerdy stuff, we we invite, you are welcome to come join us anytime. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, we, yeah, we invited Nick over, so we're going to find out a little bit about you, Nick. So first of all, uh, what got you into this world? What's your earliest memory of you being involved with, you know, comics, nerd, geek, anything? Well, surprisingly, my mom was the was the nerd in the household. Ooh. She loved like the old school Transformers, the the Beast Wars. I remember, we found that on Netflix not that long ago, and she geeked out about it. Really? Yeah, yeah. I haven't heard that one. My earliest real like introduction to the the, Hang on a the nerd world. What the? No offense, but how old is your mom? Fifty-two. Not too that's old. A, not too old. That's no. good. That's yeah. That's my parents' age. But even Beast Wars, that seems past her time. Oh, she was she still was into, into it. She was still into it when it came out, especially because her and um, my uncle, she was younger than her, and he loved that stuff too. Her brothers, so. right? I'm guessing. Yeah, my her, her brother. Yeah. Well, one would be a sister. Yeah, brother and sister. <laughs> but yeah, um, always get her into the podcast. Oh, she would. She probably love it, especially because she loves you know. He's like, well, what got her started? <laughs> oh, that'd be interesting to find out. Um, so but yeah. Transformers, huh? Beast Wars? Yeah, my first, um, earliest one, of course, growing up in the, the later 90s, would have to be Dragon Ball Z. That was like my first like thing into this whole mystical nerd world, and I was just like, fell in love with it. Priscilla would have been all over that, too. Did you branch off from Dragon Ball Z, or are you, kinda, are you a huge anime fan, um, or like everything? No, I'm kind of everything. Like, mostly... Literary nerd, like I love like the Harry Potter books growing up. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, you read them all. Oh, read them all multiple times. Gotcha. Movies all the time. Like every time I find it on ABC Family or whatever it's called now, I think it's called Free Free something. I can't remember. Have you gone to Universal to see the? Oh, I have not yet. No, but I've, been, I've been waiting. You should definitely. If you're I that big of a Potter out. fan that you've read the books oh, and yeah. seen my the mom movies came multiple back. times, my mom just went with her best friend. She came back with that wand that does things in the. I got, I got one of those too. I got oh, one of those too. I'm so ready to go. Which which I'm one did so she get? Which one did she get? I believe she got Professor Snape's wand. Nice. That's cool. Dark arts. I got a Voldemort. That's nice. I can't wait. I, I gotta check go. it out. Harry Potter. <laughs> Not joking. Yeah. Harry Potter's good. So that's cool. So. Have you always been a casual nerd then? Not, nothing too crazy? Yeah, I mean, I've never been over the top. I mean, I always have wearing something nerdy. You know, I got my, even my workout shirts under there. They're all see, Dragon yeah. Ball Z, the armor, the, the cell armor. I got like Gold Frieza, Piccolo. That's like, dope. I love it. Anything I can find nerdy, like, pretty sure I got nerdy hats, nerdy socks, nerdy shirts. So your mom has been an influence of you being a nerd. Like, I mean, yeah, is she we, still is she still as well? Like she's still enjoying. Oh yeah, we we always used to uh, like we sit down and watch Game of Thrones every week together when we can, and we'll go see you know all the superhero movies, all that. So it's always it's always fun. That's awesome. That is really cool. That is pretty cool. That's actually something I envy because I don't have that kind of thing or a connection like that with my parents. So I could imagine having. A geeky thing to geek out with, but like either my mom or my dad would be super cool. 
And, and to the only thing that I can say that I'm kind of remotely the same is remember I told you about my dad and my mom uh, telling me to watch Daredevil. Yeah. Oh, I was at their house. Uh, this was a couple podcasts ago, but I was at their house. And my dad was like, have you seen this show? It's amazing. And I'm like, what show? So he puts it on the TV. And he's like, it's called Daredevil. It is amazing and badass. And I was just laughed. And I was like, of course I've seen this. But I, I looked at it and I was like, you like this? He goes, yeah, it's awesome. It's like the, he was breaking it down, the fight scenes. And I was like, wow, all right. But yeah. And then he starts telling me season two is even better because they have this guy named Punisher. Do you know who this guy is? I'm like, of course. So that was pretty cool. My dad was telling me. But did you really know who he is? Because he's doing this. Like, all right, yeah, yeah. But that's pretty cool, man. So what are you reading now? Are you, how are you, how deep into the world are you right now? Um, well, I've always had, like, multiple, you know, books on my, my nightstand. I've been mm-hmm. reading, I'm right now, I'm in the fourth, uh, towards the end of the fourth book of Game of Thrones. Okay. Um, I've been just, I've gotten into comics recently. I never mm-hmm. really, you know, dabbled into that until... Maybe about a month ago, and I just started spending money left and right on it. It, it becomes, you know what? It's it's expensive to start because you yeah. don't know where to start. Yeah. So you want to branch off as, as many things as you want. You're like, all right, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then as it goes on, you start like, okay, I kind of didn't like this one. So this style I like. I don't like this. So this style I like. But also, since you just started out, what's interesting is that your, your new take on comics will be is what you started with. Like, his take on the world of com- or comics with DC is the New 52. Mine was before that. It was just the old DC. Mm-hmm. So it's it's funny how when you start, it shapes to what you're going to enjoy, I guess. It shapes to who you're... What it, you're well, it's, your, it's like, where, it basically, yeah, where you're starting off at. Like, that's kind of your world where you start off Yeah. With. Mm-hmm. Oh, I mean, yeah. You're yeah. comfortable in that setting because this is where I started off with. I didn't have to go back to so far to see the history of it. Oh yeah, a lot, of, a lot of the ones I'm reading right now, I've been lucky. You know, they're only maybe the most is like ten issues into the series. Like, I really thought like by getting into comics when I saw that new, uh, the new Captain America, Steve yeah. Rogers. When everyone was talking about the Hail Hydra at the end, I was yeah. like, okay, I need to get this. I need to see because I've loved Captain America. Right. He's been my number one superhero. Oh, like, that's awesome. That's awesome. For as long as I can remember, I even remember my mom telling me. That she saw like a, like a little news blip that Captain America died in the comics, and I was so sad. I was like, man, <laughs> wow. He's oh. died many times, I guess. I want to go back to you read like novels. You've mostly started into like reading books and novels and stuff. What yeah. are some of your favorites? Um, Harry Potter, of course. You know, the Game of Thrones books are excellent. I mean, it's emotional turmoil. Honestly, there's always imagine. always something going on. It's hard to keep up because there's a lot of characters, but it's it's got some good stuff going on. Another big one. Um, because Greek mythology has been one of my oh, favorite cool. topics since forever. And um, the Percy Jackson series. I know okay. it's like a lower reading grade level, but I don't care about that. Like, it's a good story. It's like good no, stuff going on. No I judgment. Can't. You love no. to read. You read I, I can't ever put them down. Books, so, I mean, yeah, that's true. Greek mythology. You'd, you'd love Wonder Woman. Oh, um, never really looked into DC too much. I've been mostly Marvel fan. Um, but yeah, the, yeah. Thor would be in the Oh, yeah, Thor. Thor, because Norse gods. And the thing is, too, the guy who writes the Percy Jackson books, like, he's done multiple series. Like He's done Greek gods. He did the Percy Jackson series and then made like a secondary series off of that. He did another one called the Cain Chronicles, which was Egyptian gods, which I thought was pretty cool. And then his newest one, I forget the title because I just picked it up not that long ago. I know it came out last fall. Right. But it's based on uh, Norse gods so i was gonna say that he's like if he's gonna hit in everything he's gonna be norse yeah. which is what god of war is gonna be doing now yeah i don't know if you oh yeah i games. just saw that preview i god of war love that i you played those games i had to have my older sister go and buy me the games because i was too young because they were rated m like <sighs> how old are you i'm 23 Jeez. so when the when the first one came out like, i didn't even know about it i didn't even know about it until the second one <laughs> feeling our age now <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even know about it until the second one. I'm like, I remember my buddy at school was talking about it. You could do the code to have sex with the mermaids. <laughs> I remember that. I did that scene like five times. I went back and forth. Like, I did that a few times. But yeah, my sister, I was like, you got to go. You know, Here's my money. Drive me to the, to the store. So go, go to GameStop. Yeah. As she took me to GameStop, and I sat in the car and waited, and I saw her walk off. She came back with a bag in He's her like, hand. I can't be in there because they'll know it's for me. <laughs> And I, like even my mom and dad, like even they see me playing it every once in a while. Like this is 
pretty awesome. Okay, like, let me ask you a question. Since you say you're into Percy Jackson, what about the movies? Did you hate them? I heard a lot of people hate it. There were two, right? Yes, there were three, two. I there, think, isn't it? No, I only I only know about two. There it was, was to be three. the first two books. I've heard like they they were probably gonna do a third one, but I think they tanked it because the first two were. So there only been two books. No, no, no there's two movies. there was five books in the first five. series. I want to say five in the second series. Oh, so and then, that's a long series. Yeah. Okay. And then three for the Kane Chronicles. And I know there's and another then, employee. God, one of the, the twins reads that because I caught him reading one of the Percy Jackson's books, and he says he's reached them all. God. Oh yeah. One of the Lowland brothers. Well, yeah, I mean, like, I'm not too much of a hater when it comes to movies. Like, I just like to sit back and enjoy. I don't judge them too much. Like, if you're asking for a movie review, I am the worst person to ask because I'm just like, I liked it. It was bright lights and shiny objects. I was entertained. I got my money's worth. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, they were... Well, what's cool about trying to relate to the books not not the best. But still, what's cool about that is seeing these characters, especially you reading the books beforehand, to seeing just the world come to life. That's one thing that's really oh, cool yeah, that about it. Cool. That you can't was, hate about it. Yeah, I was maybe really they're excited. not true to the characters, or the story doesn't isn't the same exact way. It, but it's not a horrible thing. Oh yeah, not, it was still great seeing like all these characters that I was like, you know, playing movies in my head, reading yeah. the books, I seeing them on the big screen. I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. You know, oh, could it could have been a, it could have been a lot better, but you know. The same, yeah, the same way we, we sit with comic book movies is like we grew up with these comic book characters and seeing them on the big screen and the world come to life. It's just like it's what more can you ask for other than just like a good story yeah. out, of, out of that? You know what's funny enough, though? I'm always the opposite. I'm always see the movies. And if I like the movies, I'll read the books. I'm like, All right, I'll go back. So I never can say, oh, the movie didn't do justice. It's always like, oh, there's more details now in the book, which makes sense. But, uh, okay, so those are graphic novels. Uh, so what comic books are you reading right now? What, what, what are you finding to your taste? Like, all right, I'm, I'm getting to this one, and, and, or this one not so much. Uh, just started exploring. Like, I'm waiting for the, the second issue of Captain America, Steve Rogers, I believe, comes out this week, yes. if I'm not mistaken. This week. Um, started doing the, the Sam Wilson Captain America comics. I thought those were pretty good. Okay, uh, how is that? Because I haven't read that one. How um, that I episode? mean, they're pretty good. I don't know, like, what all happened. I know after Steve Rogers died, the shield got passed around a little bit, and then he came back to life and that dirty. all that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm liking them. I don't know a whole lot of the backstory, like, when he first became Captain America, because it seems like when it's taken off in the first issue. Mm -hmm. He's been it for a little while. He's still trying to find his groove. He's at, right. you know, some some ins and outs with some people. And so I'm just like, okay, I mean, it's still pretty good. That's not bad because it, it, it's a new intake. It's a fresh fr a set of eyes. So he's coming out with no information, just strictly basing off what he's reading, which is cool. Because there's a lot of people, I've done it before, but, you know, I, I'll still give any book read a try. Where people come in and he's like, oh, it's completely different. It's garbage. You know, this is this and that. But no, so that's good, man. So any anything else? Um, also, I, I just picked up these. I, I read through the first three of International Iron Man. thought that was pretty cool. Oh, okay. The new one. And then uh, Mockingjay. I, was, I believe it's Mocking, Mockingjay, Mockingbird. I can't remember. Um, From the Hunger Games? No, no. It's also um, uh, Marvel. She was part of S.H.I.E.L.D., Oh, um, she. Uh, you, I don't know if you guys have watched that Agents of Shield show on no, ABC. No. Oh no, that's that's she, a really. Good I believe one. is it Mockingbird? I Mockingbird. think it's Mockingbird. Mockingbird. She's Mockingbird. a villain, I believe, in the comics, isn't she? Or I, she, I haven't seen I'm not sure. Or vice versa, she was part of the Thunderbolts, uh, who uh, General Ross spearheaded. I think by the, one time the Mockingbird character in the show was supposed to be like a spinoff, right? She was to have her. Did you know about this? She was going to have her own show. Um, that I didn't know. No, I haven't heard. Or seen anything it about sounds that. familiar mockingbird um but yeah i mean i saw it i mean honestly she was really hot in the show so i was yeah. just like okay let's check out this, this this comic so since you said you mentioned you watched shield we really haven't gone past uh, the first few episodes not that we hate it just because we have a huge stack of things we want to yeah. watch what do you think of shield oh i love it it's it's like especially because they can tie it in so well to when the movies come out right. so do, so are they doing like that? wow, wow. A week after, you know, the Avengers came out, Ultron and this new Captain America, they already will make reference to it in the, the That's show. That's so like, dope. It's so well timed. That's so dope. And I'm just like, this is this is awesome. And I mean it's just kind of a whole new take of what people are what like the normal shield, I mean this 
this past coming seasons, everything's kind of like up in the air with Shield and because Hydra. Of the Inhumans and all that. Yeah, the Inhumans well, and then like the fall of Shield. Yeah, when Captain after America Winter Soldier. Too, Winter Soldier. Yeah, after that fell so. apart, I mean, everything's just kind of scrambled now. It's just slowly starting to regain their their steps now in this last series or season. And so, I mean, it, it's cool. I like it. I mean, it was a big, big old thing when um, I found out Agent Coulson wasn't dead. So I was, you know, pretty excited about that. I don't oh, know. I didn't know that. I don't know if, a little oh, bit of spoiler alert. Sorry if anybody hasn't one. seen it. Yeah, that's like the first Agent episode Coulson of preseason. He gets killed by Loki in the Avengers. Yeah, I thought he was going to be like a life decoy. Nope. No. No, he's not a life decoy. Mm-mm, it is him. Ooh. Oh, I saw was episode way, one. In a way, though. I mean, like, the way that they, they bring him back is pretty interesting. All right, but you got to say now, uh, spoilers, is there already, what, season three? So you, if you either answer like it, you four. So, yeah. so how, did he, how did he come back? Um, it was Project Tahiti, I believe, that he and Nick Fury kind of spearheaded uh-huh. using alien DNA to bring him back to life. <laughs> <laughs> so he, I mean, it's still, it is, it is the same... Phil Coulson. Just with a little alien DNA. Which, yeah, just with a little alien oh, DNA. Cool. I left off before that. Re- I took off the show before that reveal, but up to then, like, it, he kept talking about just being on vacation that whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. He, didn't, he yeah. didn't know anything. He would talk about, I was just on vacation, you know. Like, his memory the, was... The one, he didn't know he died? He... Um, I don't remember. It's been a while since I watched the first season. I don't think he did. I don't think I remember, he does at first. Like, he just... Kept saying he was away on vacation. Yeah, and, he would say to, the, the, the one phrase he would always say is, I believe Tahiti is a magical place or a wonderful place or something. Like when anybody would ever ask him about it and he'd mention he was on vacation, that's the one phrase he would always say right after. So you're like, okay. So I mean, we all knew he was dead watching the show. So you're like, what's yeah. going on? So, yeah, that's... That's cool. And now, a lot of people have said that uh, since you start seeing the whole thing, that season one, it's not it's all right, but it's a show that's literally... After every episode, after every season, it just gets better and better and better and better. And it's to the point where they have found their groove. Like, yeah, they yeah. they know what works right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I've been hooked since, you know, episode one. I believe Agent Carter was the spinoff that they made from that show. I mean, I don't know how much of a spinoff, but it was supposed to just be like a little, you know, when they have their winter yeah. break, a little filler. And that actually got its second season, but I believe it was canceled. Yeah, it was canceled. But that was Did a little you spinoff. Show at all? Oh, yeah, I watched it. I loved it. Peggy Carter. Also really hot, so you know I was like, I'm I'm all for it. <laughs> Too bad she dies. Yeah, at least she gets to live a good life. Yeah. All right, so you got now. Okay, so comic books. You say Wade Wilson. You read the first Captain America. Yes, Captain America, Steve Rogers, Captain America, Sam Wilson, International Iron Man, okay. Mockingbird, um, and then there's this new uh, police called Standoff where they're on this whole I'm not I've only read like the first issue of it but it's like this oh again spoiler alert a uh, little like prison that because uh, okay. Maria Hill is the new director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Okay. at this point again oh that's cool so she's made this like prison where she can like alter people's realities really? and they don't know so that's kind of like that's it's called Pleasant Hill oh, and okay. so it's just I'm, I've just kind of started it so it's just kind of unfolding right oh, now that's cool then Pleasant Hill. Pun. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, all right, so going back to the whole Hell Hydra, what did you think of it? I wanna, I, were you intimidated at all getting into comic books? Um, a little bit. I mean, I walked into the, because the, the first store I went to was that, that Four Color Fantasies over here, you know, by, by where we work. And I walked in, and I just felt, like, a little overwhelmed. Yeah, it, it can very well be. Is that I, how you felt? Yeah, Is that how you felt, that's too? That's how I felt, too. Yeah, first time. I walked in there. I was like, okay, you know, I'm just going to go look for this, you know, Captain America Steve Rogers, and I'll, I'll get it because I just want to, you know, follow this one so I can see what's going on. And then I walked in, and I was just like, whoa. That's, that's like, a lot of, like, oh, this would be awesome. This would be, like, kind of sucks because, you know, coming in, I don't, like, know anything. So all the issues I was looking at, numbers... You know, right, right. Yeah. Double digits and everything. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. okay, coming in now would be kind of Pointless. hard to even like follow this series. Uh-huh. So let's just try to start from the beginning. So I, all the all the issues I've been trying to get, I'm trying to start from the beginning, so I can just start a new. You know what you should get into trades, like trade paperback and everything like that. Uh, one, have you read anything about X Men? Mm, not so much. No. I would like to introduce you to the world to of the Ultimates. You should read that. Okay. Like I've seen I've seen references to that one. I thought that'd be pretty cool. So read, I might, uh, I might it, it's that. already passed. It's like been a couple of years, but yeah. uh, Ultimatum, that's a good read. 
I mean, I just found. Um, I know it's not having the actual copy is not as good as having the actual copy, but the the Marvel comic app. Yeah. Marvel so I can always just go back, you know, read them on, at least on my phone, so yeah. I can read the issues. So have you branched on to DC yet? Uh, not so much DC. I mean, I liked it. I mean, it's like Batman, Superman, obviously mm-hmm. two of the most well known comic book figures ever. I mean, never been like my top priority though. My sister, she, my sister also, she's a little bit of a nerd. All right, everybody, Batman. thank, uh, thank Nick for coming by. Um, I think that's <laughs> enough. <laughs> it's, it's all right, man. It's not his cup of tea, you know. That's okay. All right. He's into what's the better known world of Marvel. <laughs> joking. No, no. Hey, it, it, some people are in, are into it. Some people are not. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's cool. I mean, I, like I said, I will watch you know every Batman movie, every Superman movie. Yeah. Like I Drew, enjoy it. He's mostly strictly. DC himself, yeah, but he has no problem. Like you said, he he'll watch his X Men, he'll enjoy Wolverine movies and etc. I don't, yeah, I don't discriminate. It's just that reading wise, I'm yeah. drawn to something more yeah. than the other. Just like I mean, everybody else is here. So. And funny enough, I don't know if you knew, uh, he wasn't always like this. He was corrupted. Like what? What? He wasn't always bad, Drew. <laughs> Tell me those cards are a lie. You saw those pictures. <laughs> No, it was funny. Uh, unbeknownst to me, it was uh, somebody else who was going to eventually come over as well. Uh, we were just talking about comic books, and uh, he's, o- he's always been a geek. It's just, it's just it's like, I guess, sparked sparked your interest again into it? Uh, it's just when I went from relationship status to alone forever that I got into this world. <laughs> so it's always a good place to start. And, Five uh, years ago. Yeah. And every year, feel around it, just hit me up, dude. I'm like, hey, man, read this or... This, this good and to that. Know. But it's good always good to venture off, and that's and it's great that you're starting out and you're getting your own perspective of how what your this is your world now. So yeah. what, whatever Marvel's doing right now, uh, that's yours because it was Marvel now, old and this is this and that. Because it was he's 52 now they got the rebirth. So there's probably people that oh rebirth is my thing, you know. Yeah, so that's cool, man. Another one I've been getting into also because um, I love 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 the Assassin's Creed games. Nice. One of my favorite games to play of all time. I've been lagging recently, mostly because I was in the middle of playing Black Flag, and somehow I lost all my save data, so Ooh. it just kind of crushed me, having to start all over again, so I've been lagging on it. I feel you, dude. I haven't really been playing since, because I'm just like, man. Is it's... it on PlayStation? Yeah. God, of course. That's weird. I, it happened to me with Batman. Ooh. It, I lost all my save data, and I was like, I haven't touched it. That was the first time it ever happened to me, though. The same thing. Same like, thing. I had stopped playing for a little while, you know, got busy, work, school, all that. And so I went back and like, I started from almost the very beginning. I was just like, mm. and since then I like I find it hard to pick it up and start again. That's never happened to me, but I could imagine that being just being disheartening. Like I've done this already, but yeah. like I have to get to a point where I haven't played that past, but yeah. I just, I just can't because I've done this it. already. Yeah, you go to the point where you're playing it just for playing sake to get where you're at, and that's just kind of soul crushing. Like, oh. Yeah, which is weird because I've played through games three, four times and still enjoyed them just as much, if not. More because now I'm collecting all the extra stuff and getting 100 percent and getting well, that trophy. You, that, that's goal oriented. So you're, you're like, all right, that's a different perspective. Like, all right, you know, at, to that point, you got to do it over. Just and you're trying to do it over as yes. quick as possible. Yes. Yes. Skipping out, need this. I'm not gonna do the side mission anymore. <laughs> no, seems, no, forget no, it. No, yes. No, nope. Yeah. No, but I, um, my first trip into that four color fantasies, I saw that they had Assassin's Creed comic books, and I was like, all right, obviously I'm gonna buy like every issue of these that I can find. And they got a couple series I saw. They got Assassin's Creed, like the Assassin side, and then they do the Templar side as well, which I thought was pretty cool, getting a little perspective from them. That one's only in about its third issue, so I'm you know, just kind of catching the story now. And then How are you liking it? It's good. It's good. You know, It's, of course, the same Assassin's Creed action that we all know and love. And then I know on the Assassin side, I believe issue nine is the latest one that just came out. And I haven't really read too much on that because like, I like to go in order. I don't want to skip around. Okay. So I got issue one, and then the next issue I don't have after that is to four. So I'm still kind of looking for a two and three so I can finally finish reading it. You're going to have to hit up all the comic books. Oh, I've been, I've been hitting up every time I come near one. They can, they can order them for you. You just request them. Yeah. Let them know what issues you want. Yeah. They'll, well, they'll order for you. They'll order for you. Any, oh, yeah, cool. any comic shop you go to, they'll order you. Oh, that's good to know. I didn't really know that. I figured once it was gone. Because that was like when I first asked about the Steve Rogers one at Four Color Fantasies, he was like, Sorry, man. I know it was like sold out, so it was like probably out of print. I was like, damn. Yeah, they're, they're, right. but they get, uh, a lot of times when they run out of print, when when that happens, he'll get a second print. I'm like, second printing, such and such. Yeah. But uh, so since you're an Assassin's Creed lover, what do you think of the trailer? At first, I was not so 
mm, about it because really? I, I oh, I mean, I, I, I thought it was supposed to be based on the first game. Okay. But then I read up and it's like it's just supposed to be its only like it's it's all on its own. Then I was like, okay, I'm all for it now. Okay. So you're like, no, they're butchering the first. Okay, yeah, I okay. thought because I was like, wait a minute, it's Spanish Inquisition. Oh, yeah. Like, what the hell's going the on? Have you seen well, well, like the behind the scenes stuff and the trailer kind of thing? I just saw the trailer not too long ago. So because at E3 they revealed like behind the scenes footage and kind of just more talking uh, about the story about it. You might be interested in that quick little four or five minute video. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely get into that. Uh, one thing I love too after I, I don't remember if it was the second one or Brotherhood. Uh, where they did the the little uh, like forty five minute the lineage movie all about uh, Ezio's dad, oh. it was just like I, I think I even found it on YouTube after because it was coming out in like ten minute little chunks. Oh, so you want to see the whole thing? So together. like yeah, I couldn't keep up with it. I didn't. I wasn't sure where to find it. So one day I just YouTubed it and it was the whole thing on there. So I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. Like a little. I, I love backstories. Yeah. So whenever like books that like first come out and they always reference to the, you know this past thing and like i always want to know more about it Make as much as i can I do, I do that you know what? i do that when i read comic books sometimes and what i'll do i have my phone i'm like wiki such and such character <laughs> ah all right i get oh, it yeah, yeah. i'll go back to his yeah <laughs> that's cool man different different perspective different everything that's cool that's cool that's where you like you know shoot the shit talk because well, I would have never read those and just seen any saying that was good, so that's cool. That's a yeah, good like idea. Even a whole new perspective on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which we've mentioned here and there just because of whatever news topics, mm -hmm. but somebody who's actually seen it and give us, given us their take on it, and and a Marvel zombie who's like into Marvel comics, and because you, you, you're you into Marvel, but you go a lot older oh, yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah, I do a lot. Because <clears throat> I started way like six, eight years ago, mm -hmm. and... Uh, also, somebody else, it's always someone gets you involved. It's like a gateway drug. You have a friend that hooked you up with something they weren't supposed to, you know. And uh, oddly enough, the guy that got me introduced, uh, all he had was on, uh, I was working on a 24-hour station out in Pomona. He had a poster, and it was uh, all these villains standing on a broken Statue of Liberty with the shield, the Batman cowl, all, like, uh, all these other stuff. And I'm like, what is that? And he was like, oh, it's just something that happens in the comic books. I'm like, oh, all right. And, it was, and then I... And all he says is like it was 50 years ago and it was or not that long ago but it was like it's been going on for such a long time and that just picked my interest let me let me so what i did was bought an old trade book and then bought an older trade book and just but since then i've started and i branch off everything honestly i like to read everything a little bit of everything yeah. but uh, a little bit of old school uh from the 2000s i don't i'm not i don't want to say golden age but he's more of the the now well, even you know a lot more about the Golden Age stuff because you've read that far back. Right. and it, I'm just getting into that, especially because of the Crisis on Infinite Earths. And then even you, if you get that interest to go back to those early 90s, even 80s or older, you'll see it's a lot more reading involved. As oh, yeah. I've seen like entire pages just say like wham yeah. or something. <laughs> well, not so much that, but just word bubbles yeah. across the entire page and you could barely fit in an image of the character Christ because there's the so earth. much talking. Did you see how there's like, so much it's like talking. 30 squares <laughs> and every square I have is like just write the whole paragraph. <laughs> but, it, and, it, and it's funny because I showed him uh, what was that trade? Uh, Identity Crisis. Yeah. It's not that old but it's set back when, when, when I started and mm -hmm. he really, he saw how dark themed it really those comments were and it's, it's it's pretty intense and it's pretty cool i mean but, i don't mind i don't mind the big word bubbles i honestly i i have to catch myself like i'll be reading my comics and i'll just flip it through like not even looking at the images because i'm just so like intrigued with the dialogue and what's going on i'm like I do, oh, I wait a minute catch myself sometimes. i gotta go back and see like so i can actually see it out because i'm i'm so used to reading books and just imagine everything in my head that i gotta go back like oh yeah i got a picture I, right here that shows i catch me. myself doing that too a lot yeah like yeah, i have to like yeah, slow right. it down check out the pictures yeah. see if there's any context in the pictures or something in the back that's coming towards you know whatever the next and that's why it's a great what if you ever read a good story to read read it because then you're like all right yeah. that was amazing let me read it and you're like oh well all right this guy's doing this you know so that's cool anything else to add so you're a gamer what console do you play on playstation playstation you all have all life. the all assassin's creeds yes what other like series of games? Are you um, into? I got the Assassin's Creed. I mean, I got all the uh, the Call of Duties. I got all the God of Wars. Again, another one. My mom, she did the Tomb Raider series. She cool. loved Tomb Raider. Right. Like, oh yeah. That, did that, you get into the reboots of Tomb Raider? Um, 
I mean, not so much. I mean, it was, it was cool. I like I like to watch her play. Like I was intrigued by you know Laura Croft and the storylines and everything. So I was like, okay, this is so cool. So your mom's played the new games, the new Tomb Raiders. Yeah, she's so sad though that the wow. newest one came out for Xbox and we don't have an Xbox. It's coming out for PlayStation, but later next year. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. that's good. I'll let her know that. She'll yeah, be it was excited. just a timed exclusive for Xbox, but yeah, it's coming out for PlayStation. Oh, that, that's good to know. She's gonna be real happy that's about right. that one. Okay, so since you don't have an Xbox, she hasn't played the new one. No, she she's hasn't just, played yeah. it. Like she's, we don't have an Xbox. She's like, I don't want to spend all that money just to play one game. <laughs> Game, so. Xbox. They're really good games. Do you play the Uncharted series? Uncharted? No, I wish I had though. I saw that that new one, the Uncharted Four. Those that came I out. cannot recommend enough. And Last of Us. The Last of Us from the same developer. Those, yeah, I just cannot recommend those enough. <laughs> Seriously, I really gotta play Last of Us. Everyone's always telling me, dude, play Last of Us, play Bro, Last of Us. I just that I just, hits the feels. So bad. I heard, I heard. Like when I first saw the preview for it, I was just like, kind of like, all right, it, it looks cool. Not, not my cup of tea. But everyone was just telling me play it, and I'm just like, okay. Are, are they remastering it or making a second one? There's a remaster for the play because it came out for PlayStation Three as one yeah. of the last games, and it was remastered for PS4. Uh, but they are going to start working on the sequel for it. Okay, I'll definitely have to, so, definitely have to go get that one. That's. Then. I don't want to say it's not so much fun; it's an experience. Yeah, I heard it's, it's, a, it's, it's it's an experience to play through. It's amazing. It draws you in, man. It really does. And yeah, it's intense. It is fun, but not so much like happy fun, like exciting fun. But it's an amazing. It's an emotional roller game. coaster, bro. That that's that's what I hear. It sounds like. Sounds it sounds like a lot of fun. I really I really gotta look into it now. So along with that, yeah, again, like the Uncharted series, those are fun action games. So those are absolutely like epitome of fun. It's mm -hmm. Like you're laughing while you're playing the game because <laughs> the characters their banter and their interactions with each other and the main character nathan drake the way he's just like his quips and he's yeah. like he's going through these in impossible situations like and he's like surviving them and it's just he like it's very very good game. Falls, you know, <laughs> that's what it kind of looked like to me like just like and that's what that's what i was kind of getting at is these tomb raider games kind of are like the uncharted games even though I know Uncharted was like the original action adventure type of yeah. game, uh, Uncharted kind of bit off of that. But the, the reboots are like Uncharted games. So that's good to know. Those are definitely worth checking out. Mm. Anything else? What do we have? Just comics. You need to TV. What else do you watch? <sighs> always been in the cartoons. You know, uh, Family Guy and American Dad always on the DVR. And like I said, you need to get a Fire Stick. I really need one of those. You need a fire stick. Well, since you got into Dragon Ball Z, like, what other kind of anime stuff are you into? Um, I've never never been huge on anime. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not entirely sure it's considered anime, but the the Avatar series on Nickelodeon, The Last Airbender, oh. and Legend of Korra. I don't know how like an that hit is like to the anime everyone really did thinks you, of. Did you see the last one, the Book of Korra? Yes. I need to watch. It. Is that good? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was really different from the, the first one. Right. I, I, it sucks that they really took it off the air and just put it on the internet. It really hurt. It's yeah, you had to like go on Nickelodeon.com or like the little... They have an app, so luckily I was able to watch it on my iPad. But yeah, I was really sick. Because it it, once it got bumped to Fridays, I was like, you know, everything that gets bumped to yeah, Fridays is it's on like, its way out. It's like, like, why are they, yeah, yeah, I was like, why are they killing this off? You can just put it back. Because there's, there's a following. The first one, Avatar Last Airbender... Could not get enough of it. Every time I see it on TV, I will watch it like from wherever it starts. I don't gotta. Appa. <laughs> yeah. Well, how long is that series? Has it been around for a while? Um. I think yeah. It's, uh, last it was. Been I don't six know. Years I don't know. Like that, yeah. I want to say at least at least four seasons because I know the the first book Water took took a while. Mm -hmm. The second book I believe was Earth. That one. Yeah. So. I want to say maybe about four or five years that one was on. Okay, so it's not something like, isn't like Dragon Ball Z been on for like no, no, ages? No, 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 no. That, yeah. that came out like, this what, like 2000? or something like that. No, that was, that was like, I want to say around 06-ish is when that first came out. Really? Yeah, because I was still, I believe, like finishing up middle school when it first started. No, no. I remember I was watching it through high school. And, uh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Did you like the movie, Last Airbender? <laughs> <laughs> one movie I can say I'm not, not I wouldn't watch again. There are the occasional movies where I'm like, no. And that's, that's, that's unfortunately one of them. That's unfortunately one of them. That seems to be the consensus with that movie. Yeah. I never watched it. Like it, it. Was, it was just so... I mean, 
It's not like a it's not like a book where you get to see finally coming up. It was a cartoon, so your expectations you saw like how everything was supposed to be. So your expectations were so much <laughs> higher from the movie. I liked it as a movie. Mm-hmm. As I a mean, for people who've never seen the show, they probably liked the movie. It's it was it was it was good enough. But for everyone who like watched the show and like had all these expectations, seeing the movie was just just a big letdown. That was like the downfall of M Night Shyamalan, in the Oh yeah, right about that. I don't know why they got him to make that. They, 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 it was too dark. It was too dark. Is he a fan of that? Isn't that isn't he? Maybe I don't I don't know. But I don't know. But yeah. they just went they just went too dark for a show like that. All right. Uh, Thanks, Nick. Uh, uh, we're, so we're going to go over the news now. So uh, just chime in, dude. Yeah. yeah. Eric, anything you want to say, just keep going. Cool, cool. All right, guys. So that was our buddy Nick. He's, you know, his introduction. He's a cool guy. Well, he can keep coming on as much as he wants. Do you have social medias Do you want to be followed on? Um. Yeah, I mean, I got Instagram. I don't really use Facebook as much and Snapchat. So, I mean, I mean, you can probably put the links up for this after. I mean, what is it? N A G O N Z nine three. If you want to follow me on Instagram, or we'll throw that down there. Yeah, share this with your friends and family, and have them yeah, share it cool. along too. That'd be cool. All right, cool. So uh, let's talk about news for this week. Uh, you want to leave your huge chunk of Justice League for later, or you want to get onto it right now? Whatever. We can do that later because right. I got other stuff. Uh, Power Rangers, which was uh, big news. We find out what Brian Cranston's gonna be. That was a surprise. I did something. Did, did you hear about that? that? Yeah. Yeah. He's supposed to be what? Z- uh, Zordon. 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 Yeah. And I'm just. I was like, really? So he's gonna be a floating really? head. All right. <laughs> I feel like they should have got a fat guy for that role. Honestly, just they could have got anybody for that role. But do you think he'll be just in that floating tube, the floating head, or do you think he'll be some sort of hologram type of? I've heard people kind of just their theories. I hope they put him in the big tube. I, I feel like they won't though. They, yeah. So the nostalgia part of you is like keep it. Kind of OG. Yeah, keep but it like. Do newest I mean, obviously, you, they're they're gonna put the new stuff. Yeah. In. They're gonna change it up, but like, keep it as close to home as you can with that one. What was that little robot's name that that was there too? Is that no, 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 the little the. Z, right? Cause he had a big old Z. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember. The little ay yeah 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 that yeah, guy. Hispanic sounding robot. But I mean, but I mean, since this news is broken, the memes have just been awesome from all this. Heisenberg in the in the blue floating tube, <laughs> like saying Power Rangers. It's did, time to cook. Did, did you know that it wasn't his first time with Power Alpha Rangers? Alpha Four. No, I, we were way off Alpha. Alpha. It was Alpha, Alpha Four. Alpha. That's right. But I think you were probably thinking of Zed, Zed the, villain. the villain Zed, yeah. probably. Sorry. But no, 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 yeah, yeah. But I just found this out that yeah, that Brian Cranston was voiced, the voiced some of the villains that oh, yeah, was yeah, on the show, too. and the Blue Ranger was Billy Cranston. The last name was taken because of Brian Cranston. I heard that was just a stretch. So I was like, Brian Cranston tweeted himself. Yeah, but I think they were being sarcastic about that. I was like, yeah, he took it after me, Cause, you know, such and such. But you know, they can't put anything on the internet that isn't true. <laughs> of course, of course. True. You know where I heard that? Internet. The internet. On the internet. Well, what's it called? <laughs> uh, it's funny because I saw the episode that uh, he voiced. You were now nah, you no. nope nope. Gone through so many voice changers, and you would have never <laughs> guessed. Like, uh, how long ago was that? He was younger, and so his voice wasn't like as deep. But even so, you're like, no hints of you were like, you know, you could be like, ah, I guess. Yeah. You know, nope. Nothing. No. But you know how they manipulate their voice to sound like high. That was like pitch. 20 years yeah. ago. Yeah. So that was cool. And uh, it's funny that people were making fun of the poster that came out as well. Like something together. Oh, yeah, the Power Rangers. Yeah, because it said something, something. Together, and then it shows like possibly the Red Ranger at the bottom where everybody's at the top of the head. It's like, oh, that's together. It's all just a picture of like a, it's a silhouette of a car and like they're standing on the car or something, right? Yeah. That didn't seem to make any sense with the movie. Yeah, but you know, it's just criticizing. It's just a teaser. It's trying to get people worked up. But also, uh, did you hear about uh, Fox talking to Marvel? Yeah, I think after the whole. Um, Sony Spider-Man thing they're kind of like I guess we can probably work things out because so, yeah I mean God what do, what do Fantastic Four I mean what else do they have going on nothing Fantastic else Fantastic Four hopefully maybe the X-Men stuff too well we can, that's an easier transition I can see them really using that 
But they're ki- killing it with Deadpool, so not much there. But could you imagine Deadpool into the Marvel Universe? That'd be interesting. <laughs> That'd be fun That'd to be see. Really good. That'd be fun to see. Could you imagine Captain America just doing all this stuff and then just Deadpool the, comes out of nowhere? Would like, that no. mean that Marvel would have to step it up or they're toning down Deadpool? I think they would keep him the same. They would not change it. They, they would, would have to keep it. him the same. Because yeah. if they try to like turn down the rated R-ness of that, it would just it would not be if the same. If anything, that might help it out with as far as keeping it PG-13 for the their already PG-13 stuff. Where they would just kind of bleep out Deadpool stuff or whatever, yeah. and Deadpool would comment, comment on comment. that. Like, why I can't? <laughs> He's like, "How come? What is? Where are all these beeps coming from? And how come I can't?" I was like, "He would comment on that, you know, obviously." So that might add more to the to the comedy of it all. Now, m- my thought process with this is maybe Marvel can be like, "Nah, you know what? We don't want to help you out, so you can lose your rights to X characters, and we'll revert back to us." So. That's my thought process. Like, maybe well, like, why help them out? No, they well, they're not going to lose their rights because they, they're just going to constantly keep making movies. Until there's a period of time where they stop making the movies, they, their, their rights for it will lapse. Well, and they'll go back to... But They're yeah. bleeding money. I mean, God, you want to keep making a movie to lose money? You know? At that point, it's just kind of out of spite. We're just yeah. going to make movies so you yeah. can't have them. Exactly. That's, so, what they did. That's what they did with, uh, obviously, the Amazing Spider-Man reboot yeah. and Fantastic Four stuff. The Amazing Spider-Man was great, though. I liked it. I never saw the second one, but I did like the first one. I, I mean, thought it was great. I just figured, because I know there's like how many different versions of Spider-Man uh-huh. comic book. I just thought everyone was like, no, it's not the same as I preferred, you know, the first ones. I preferred this, the Garfield one, over the Toby. Yeah, that's what I figured. I mean, I was like, it's this whole new thing. Like, it's like the first one was just Spider Man. This is the Amazing Spider. Okay, different version of Spider Man. Yeah. This is cool to see. Like, I I, I, I enjoyed I it. I preferred it over Toby. I was like, oh, all right, chubby Tobey Maguire. <laughs> he made a better. Toby made a better Peter Parker than Garfield did, in my opinion. I agree with that one. I agree because really? Peter Parker was too cool in he the Amazing Spider Man. He wasn't cool. the nerd. I mean, he was a genius like Peter Parker's supposed to be, but he wasn't that nerdy high school kid. He got like, the girl. Yeah. He got the girl. It's not supposed to happen. He's not supposed to. For he, at least five years. He, he does get girls, though. He does. He does. He does, but he, it, he was still in high school. He doesn't get the girl in high school. He was still the nerd. He was, supposed to, he was not nerdy enough for the high school Peter Parker. <laughs> so, all right. What well, is agree to disagree? But either way, I hope they don't do anything so they reverse back. You know, Cause like you were saying, are they going to keep making this out of spite? Like, no, we're going to purposely bleed money. Cause amazing Spider-Man made money. Yeah. But fantastic four did. So they're going to keep making it a horrible movie. It's like, Hey, we don't want to lose this. Let's, let's invest X amount of money. Lose invest, invest, invest. They're not gonna. They're not gonna give up their characters. They're gonna work with them the way they're doing with Spider-Man. There's no way they're gonna give it back to Marvel, and because they're not gonna make any money giving it back to Marvel. I feel like if Mar- past what, past no, but they'll lose money. It. But if, I mean, if they're gonna make crappy movies, they're gonna lose money. Yeah. So that's no, my thing. No, that's the thing. Once you share with Marvel, they're not gonna be crappy movies anymore. Oh, yeah, Marvel, Marvel, Marvel would do Marvel, it so much that, better. But that's yeah, of course it would. Of course, but that's if Marvel says, "Yeah, we'll help you out." Of course they're gonna do that. They want their characters done right. Yeah. Or they can just be like, nah, we're just going to wait until it comes over. <laughs> wait till you, no, just, you just kill They're it. They're never going to come over. They're ra- they'd rather make those crappy movies over and over to keep those rights than to sell it off to Marvel, make whatever they're going to make off they, of that they, one they, time. They don't sell it off to Marvel. They just revert. They, it wouldn't, I don't, it's not a resale. It's just revert. Or revert. Yeah, so revert back. They're not making a cent out of it. But they're losing money if they make the shitty movies. But they still have the characters. See, it goes that's, back just, to that's, just, that's just a lose lose situation it's for them, like, in, in my opinion. I'm gonna lose money, but fuck it, we're keeping these characters. Lose it! That's what they did. I'm losing rebooting. and I'm taking you down with me. Yeah. With, with rebooting Spider Man and rebooting Fantastic Four. But Amazing Spider Man made money. That's the difference. That's the huge difference is that Spider Man made money. It made money. But you saw after the second one how it just fell apart. Because it wasn't. After the second one made money, but it was. One of those considered flop movies because it's critically bashed and fan bashed. I don't know. I thought it was great. A lot of people that I just thought, thought it was liked decent it. to me. I didn't love it. I liked. I preferred the first one better than the second one, but I prefer like the second uh, Tobey Maguire Spider Man. Well, it's like it, well, it's like saying that uh, it will be be in the same page as saying let's not make BVS anymore. Let's change all those Batman and Superman because it was a critical flop. Which but is it made exactly it. what they're doing. No, 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 change the characters. We're not, it's not Ben Affleck anymore. It's somebody else. Oh, you mean, it's, okay. And that, well, that's what happened. 
Either way, the new Spider-Man is going to be great, so whatever. But I enjoy the Amazing Spider-Man, so. But either way, I hope they lose it. Completely lose it. Don't want them in, at Fox's hand anymore. Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Anyways, change the subject uh, to, uh, what is it, Independence? You saw it? Independence Day? Yeah. Or Resurgence? Or Resurgence, yeah. Yeah, I saw it yesterday. What'd you think? It was dumb. <laughs> I'm seriously sitting there with my hand on my head, just kind of like resting, just just watching as it goes by. I couldn't. So you just just I was just there. I wasn't a body there into it. Let me be on my phone more than I'm watching the screen. Hmm. No, I'm never on my phone in the movies. But I was yeah, I was wasn't too invested in it. It didn't seem as campy and crazy as the first one was. You're more invested in the characters and stuff. I was excited to see Jeff Goldblum back. But he was just like playing cool Jeff Goldblum, playing this character, David, whatever. It was like, okay. And then the stakes of the story were like, uh, okay, you know, it is what it is. And I just, oh, story-wise, oh, I kind of see this before, like the enemy of my enemy is my friend kind of thing. Okay. And uh, I'm not a big fan of Liam Hemsworth. So I was like, yeah, he's not that great of an actor. And then the... Um, you don't like him in uh, the Mockingjay stuff? Like I've only seen the first one. Really? Yeah. And even then, I probably wouldn't be a fan of him in those movies. I never um, read the books, but I saw those movies. I, I, I liked them a lot. Um, yeah, they were good. Yeah. The only thing I did enjoy, like just the special effects <coughs> action scene when they're you know, fighting with the aliens, and then at the end was the, the queen alien appearance. That was cool. I, liked, I enjoyed that. I wish there would have been more of that part of it. I, it, was, it was dumb. <laughs> 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 I wouldn't recommend paying full price for it. If you want to go see it in the theater. So you're saying pirate it, guys. You hear it? No. Stream it off your phone. Go to a $2 go theater. To uh, half price Tuesdays, man. I don't, I don't promote piracy. I no. do. I, I promote it. <laughs> it gets me into comics. But, yeah. I mean, if, if you're interested in checking it out, go check it out. You know, you might like it. I'm, just, it I'm just mostly disappointed Will Smith's not in it. Well, that's the reason I brought it up. Now, uh... Just to do a little backstory, did you know that Will Smith was approached to do uh, The Matrix? The Matrix? Yeah. I the original Matrix. No, I didn't even know about that He one. was approached to it. He, so essentially, with his agent, they're like, we have these two films. One is called The Matrix. The other one's called The Wild, the Wild West. <laughs> <laughs> In hindsight, of course, you're like, what the? Yeah. Easy. But he's like, let's do Wild, Wild West. I have not seen that one in the longest yeah, time. So we know. I remember you, enjoying it though when I was we, younger. Yeah, exactly, but nowhere near Matrix success. Oh uh, no. So no. Nah. Now he uh, supposedly this was going on. He was getting the option. Hey, you know, Independence Day is coming back. The new movie. And then there's this other movie called uh, Suicide Squad. So better choice there. Better choice there. Also, yeah. So he went with Suicide Squad, and also he stated they state or it's rumors that he was trying to get his son a big role in Independence Day, and they're like, nah, not gonna really happen. So he was like, nah, forget it. Then I'll just stick with Suicide Squad. He's not the cute kid he was when he was a karate kid. You know what? I th- he was really he was good when he was younger. Oh yeah, when, like Pursuit of Happiness. Oh, Pursuit yeah. of Happiness. Man, the Karate Kid. He he was. I like the I like the Karate Kid. I thought yeah, it was really I, good. No, he he was good actor on, on both. Yeah. And then just puberty hit and things got weird. Things got weird. Social and, media weird. And he's Never still weird. Out. He's still weird. Yeah. But whatever. Maybe he'll. You know, it's maybe it's a phase. I mean, I don't know. So then, you think most likely it had to do with them not giving the part to his kid? I think it was more like, well, because in Independence Day, he would have most definitely have had the lead role, as opposed to Suicide Squad being one of ten people in the cast. Well, you know how he likes to help his family, he likes to get his family involved, and everything like that. But yeah. it could have been like the you know the final nail in the coffin. He's like, maybe I'll do it if you give my kid a a, a, a big role, you know, and maybe. If he did read the the script to Independence Day, he'd be like, "No, thank you." <laughs> this is dumb. <laughs> well, no, because then because it was enough for him to consider to do it, especially if he wants to get his family involved. Huh. So, but either way, he made a right choice. Yeah, you know, no Definitely. Wild Wild West two this time. Cannot wait for Suicide Squad though. Oh, that. Did you get your tickets? No, I'm, oh, I, mean, I, I, I like going to no. midnight premieres. Not my priority though. Not a midnight premiere at seven p.m. Oh. However, they have it nowadays. I haven't been to a midnight premiere. Air quotes go, on that man. one. It's amazing. You get. I mean, I'm. I'm still go. I'm honestly not a fan of the big 
crowds when it comes to movies. I like my space. Like I don't want to feel bunched up when I'm trying to you sit there what, for though? two and a half. You hours. should watch it with a comic book crowd though. That yeah. would be that would be very cool. different. Nobody nobody's really being rude talking throughout the whole scene and stuff like that. And well, about that, not general audience rude, more comic fan quippy kind of. Yeah, rude, you, you get the two yeah, little, yeah, yeah, the comments. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that. Uh, but either way, when we do with four color, uh, four color fantasies, you do raffles and everything like that. Oh, that's cool. So I want a statue, the Iron Man special edition one, because of is that the one in your case over yeah, there? Yeah, that that mm-hmm. shiny one. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. You should always tell people to go to. We've gotten more and more people as movies have gone by. I, I got a group of twelve going to Suicide Squad. Hopefully more. By the time it comes around, so it's priceless. It's worth go. it, dude. I work Thursday nights anyway, man. I can't even go. You got PTO? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm part time. I don't got PTO. Uh, trade? Either way, that's gonna be a good movie. So, uh, you also have a. Uh, let's see. Let's go with TV because we're gonna keep yours to last because there's a lot of news. Uh, Game of Thrones final finale, season finale. God, that was an amazing. Can't believe you haven't watched it yet, man. It's on. It's on my DVD. I work Sunday night, so I didn't get to see it. And I watched it this morning. I was like, before I go to the gym, I need to go stream this. That damn glare on my TV won't let me watch it in the daytime, man. So you better watch it when you get back. Oh so, uh, yeah, the well, second I go home, I'm plop right on the TV. So they they said it's the last two. You know, they said that the last two episodes are gonna be the most jaw dropping. And they always are. Number nine, episode nine, always the bloodiest episode of every it season. Is. But my God, dude, it, it starts quick in the, this last episode, like, like dropping, dropping, dropping big. Bombs. That's what I like. I, I like that better than when they, you know, go 45 minutes of setting everything up for, you know, oh, there's 10 no, minutes of a little bit of action. Dude, there is no setup. It's literally every 10 minutes of dropping something new. It's like, bam. All right, we're done with this one. Next one. Bam. You're like, oh my God, what what more can they do? And it, it is a l- this next season, next season, so different. It's going to be so different. So many changes. I wonder how they're going to do it, though. And people, a lot of people have been wondering this, too, because they've been doing books four and five simultaneously with like uh, this past season. And maybe, I don't, I'm not entirely sure, the season before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they're running out of books. How, how... Well, they, they, already, they already said that this season they've officially branched off the book. Okay. And uh, they have uh, Martin. What is it? George, George R. R. Martin. They have him as a consultant. They'll consult with him first. Oh, that's good. That's good to know. He'll be like, oh, that's cool. And he gives him ideas. Because he has ideas, but he's a, he's in the... Is I, it, he's even writing the new books, I believe. Yeah, he is. But he's in the IGF mode. I don't go fuck. You know, I'll do yeah. it on my own pace, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you oh, yeah. Tell me what to do. You know? Is there an end date for Game of Thrones? Yeah. Haven't they said like a couple, couple more seasons? Two more seasons. That's supposed to be two it. more seasons. That's it. So this next season is a semi-finale season. And they're kind of doing a spinoff off of it, right? Did you hear about this? I've heard about that with uh, other because so, there's I mean he said he knows it. There is so many characters, so oh, many sides, so much going. On. Like Uncle Ben, he came out of nowhere. I was happy. I was happy about that one because I was like, who is this guy? I haven't seen him since what like episode three of the first season. Yeah, maybe? but you know, and uh, like the war of the uh, the the tree people. I forget I forget their name. The talking yeah. about the children, the little leaf yeah, the one? children, the one they call the children anyway. Yeah, the, that thousand year war they had before with men. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So the, there's a lot of ways they can go off, spin off. But God, that was a great. It was a great uh, episode, man. I'm not gonna give any spoilers because you've already seen it. You haven't seen it, sorry, but yeah. geez, dude, about to go and watch that right after I'm done with this. It, it it ends well though. It it ends well where you're. It's a good. It's a good ending for Game of Thrones. You're like, all right, I'm happy with this. One thing, too, um, I don't know if you guys knew about I know you guys haven't really read the books, um, but I learned from from Bragg at work that they have, I've seen it before, too, never really paid much attention to it, but they got this big old book that's supposed to be, like, how everything happened that they always mention in the show, like, old Valerian kings, the Targaryens, and, like, all that old stuff and how things came to be the way they are now and why he went how he went crazy and everything. That whole backstory that everyone's always talking about in the show, but they never show anything for oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, So there's a whole book supposedly based on like, uh, all of that. There's YouTube channels that I watch that tell, explains those stories and stuff like that. I mean, yeah, that's cool, but I like I like to see it from, you know, George R. R. Martin himself. I mean, he, So he, he, he wrote those books too, though? Or I'm not what? entirely sure. I'm, I mean, I'd imagine he's part of the, part of it. I don't. I'm, maybe he wrote it. Maybe he didn't. I don't know too much about it. I haven't looked into it. Mm-hmm. 
But there's supposed to be that whole book that's got, you know, the backstories of all that stuff you hear about. That's interesting. You should get to find out for sure who the name of that book is. Let's see. Cool. I might look it up right now. What do you guys talk about some other news? So I'll look it but up. But besides, like I said, great episode. And then I also found out uh, Young Justice 3, possibly, almost for sure, a go. <laughs> possibly, almost for sure, kind of, sort of, maybe. Yes. Kind of, yeah. Got maybe. a flip a coin on that one? Yes. So... They especially Netflix. Well, Netflix has been really, really good at bringing back shows. So when they're when it's this, almost for certain, I can almost guarantee you it's gonna happen. Well, what did you hear about this at being like so close? Uh, God, I can't remember one of the. You know, they have multiple producers and directors, specifically saying, hinting that it, it is a strong possibility. You know how they cannot really reveal anything, so they're just saying, you know, that type of deal. So. It is on Netflix, so like I told you, they have a good track record of bringing a lot of shows, you know, back and resurgence to those things, you know. So I'm very hopeful that by the end of this year, or towards the end of this year, they're going to start already making new episodes. And you saw already Young Justice 1 and 2? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I just put them on my queue today. Oh, my God. I'm so behind. You are going to love it, though. Uh, I don't know if you've seen that one. You should watch it. You have Netflix, right? Yeah. Young Justice. Watch that. Young Justice. Okay, I'll, I'll look into that one. Young Justice. You're going to be like, what? This is awesome. And then besides that, uh, no other real news besides that. I mean, we, we talked about it earlier off recording uh, the Daredevil. I was saying they should have a Daredevil game. game. Yeah, so they should make a Daredevil video game. Uh, and this only goes off because uh, I heard about that canceled game off of uh, Digital Gaming YouTube channel. It was pretty interesting. What would you think about it? Or you could probably play, pop in your Batman game, turn off the TV, and you're playing Daredevil. <laughs> With the noise sound effects. Oh, there we go. Echo location. All right, so I found it right here. It's uh, The World of Ice and Fire, The Untold History of Westeros and the Game of Thrones. It actually is by George R. R. Martin, and he's got a couple of other people he's doing that with. But uh, reading the description on barnesandnobles.com, uh, full family history of the Stark, Lannister, and Targaryen houses. In-depth explorations of the history and culture, and so that's cool because I want to know about you know. So from sounds like I believe that's the one I was told about. The one that kind of sounds like it even has full color artwork and maps. Those bright lights and shiny objects I like so that's much. Awesome. But yeah, that'd be cool. You think? Too. You think once I guess uh, Game of Thrones is over next two seasons, if they start with. That backstory stuff would that be? I think. Watch? Would you be interested? Oh, in I would that? definitely. I, I would definitely I, watch, I would that. watch that because you always hear so much. You always that. hear so much about like all these things, and they never talk about the like, untold mysteries of Game of Thrones. So I feel like when they bring back all oh, this, so and so. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I think if they like showed it and like this is what happened, this is why things are they are now. Everyone would be like, I'm all over that. I know I would be. That'd be cool. I mean, it, it's a money maker, man. It's the most pirated show ever. <laughs> I don't doubt that at all. Mm-hmm. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for me. Now we go for the big news that was revealed last Wednesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. We talked about this after, during, well, actually during our show last week, Monday, that it was scheduled that following Tuesday, so last week Tuesday, that a bunch of Justice League news was going to come out. So mm-hmm. What's the big reveal, Drew? So what was revealed was that a bunch of reporters and bloggers and like people in the movie biz, writing biz, got to visit the set of the Justice League. We got oh. Justice League logo okay. for the movie. Oh, I saw that. We got a pretty, s- eh, pretty plain with the little star between yeah. the couple letters. But mainly was because of the backlash for BVS of the whole, oh, it's too dark or it's like, you know. They it was don't Gotham. It was supposed to be dark. The whole did you watch the movie? Yeah. What did you think of it? I mean, I liked it. Like again, I'm not one to ask <laughs> reviews about. I liked it, of course. Um, yes. I could see why people would be would be mad because as far as being Batman versus Superman, not a whole lot of that to me. It just seemed more like the big setup for Justice League. How you know he hacks the computer and sees the files for the Flash and Cyborg and Wonder Woman. So I could see I could see why people wouldn't like it, but I I thought it was like kind of a cool prequel almost okay well said i can pull this knife away from your throat now (laughs) (laughs) um so yeah because of the whole tone and kind of critical and fan backlash that was 
Batman versus Superman, the WB kind of invited all these reporters to set saying like, we heard what you guys said and we kind of like, we, they, they said like, well, this is where we were going to begin with. So pretty much this is, like, this is why we did what we did. This is why we did what we did. Uh, unknown if it's, they changed of course because of what happened or they were already on that course. But from all the reports from these reporters, a lot of like positive vibes coming out of this. They like where the tone is going. They like, they saw, they saw a quick scene of Bruce Wayne meeting Barry Allen. Um, they saw filming of uh, some of the Justice League, Batman. Yeah, I can't be a reporter, right? Batman. Well, I think we can start working this towards getting some press, yeah. press credentials. <laughs> Witness us. But uh, they were on set for a filming of the scene on top of uh, GCPD with uh, J.K. Simmons as Gordon, and they say he looks. Straight out of the comic book pages with the trench coat, the hair, he's gonna have the, the, the wig, the mustache, did you guys see, the glasses. Did you guys see that, uh, yeah, that, that picture of him freaking yoked in the gym? Yeah. Yes. That was that was intense. I was like, he's really, really But ready if you look closely, he has like the, the equipment, like the thing across his chest that wraps around the, his yeah, biceps. Yeah. So it's kind of pushing out his arms a bit. And he's got he's got some gear on him that makes him look a little more yoked. But um, they're saying he looks he looks amazing. Mustache, glasses, cigarette, and the hair, trench coat. Yeah, he's got the wig. But the scene that was being filmed is Batman, Wonder Woman, and the Flash talking to Gordon, and then Cyborg shows up. Ooh. They talk Sick. about they talk about the costumes. There's some uh, adjustment to like Affleck's costume. Uh, Wonder Woman's a little different, a little brighter colors. Um, the Flash's costume. Uh, they talk about how it's. More crimson red. He has an original costume where the story is he's actually broken into NASA and stolen NASA technology to make his outfit okay. because of the speed. It, like we'll it's it's mm -hmm. material that will last uh, will withstand the heat. And um, and Cyborg is a CG suit. And, like they say, the guy the actor comes on to the scene and he's got just like the you know the mocap suit and stuff like that. Yeah. So he's gonna be a CG. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that looks funny to see the actors in that big old shells right? in the back. <laughs> but uh, they're saying Batman's a little more uh, not as dark in this movie. He's got something to fight for now. He's got more of a renewed, more of a renewed attitude as opposed to the Batman versus Superman, off. where he was like already past the edge, you yeah. know, killing villains and and just like wasn't taking shit anymore and. The scene that they described where Batman, Bruce Wayne meets Barry Allen. Barry Allen walks into his apartment, mm -hmm. turns on the light, sees Bruce Wayne sitting in his chair, and like quips, you know, hey, you, you sit there like, you know, it's normal for some guy to be sitting in my second favorite chair. Like, he's, he's got the comedy, he's got the lightheartedness of. It's more of like, a volume less than a Barry Allen. Uh, I've, from what I've read, Barry's got some, he's, he's pretty funny. He's got the lighthearted tone from just a little that I've read of Flash stuff, mm -hmm. including Justice League, including mm -hmm. the Flash. And uh, in this scene, Bruce Wayne stands up, shows him the picture from the security footage that we see in the first movie. Say, this is you. And like, uh, he, he's the scene is a convenience store, right? Yeah. He just, yeah. yeah. And Barry Allen's like, no, that, not me. That's no, probably some good looking Jewish kid <laughs> who drinks milk. I don't drink milk. And uh, Bruce throws a battering at him and they say everything slows down. Like, you know, flash effect yeah. and flash dodges it and catches a battering. And at that moment realizes this is Batman. Yeah. And then like it all comes back to normal speed. And he's like, you're, you're Batman. And, and Batman says, or Bruce Wayne says, you're the, you're fast. And then he's kind of wants to recruit him for the team. Basically. This is, so this is a, the scene where they meet. It's like, Hey, I want to, I'm looking for metas and people with special abilities. And Barry's like, I'm in Tony just, Stark just like that. I would that say that's, that's <laughs> exactly what everybody's talking about. <laughs> that would have been the good end of credit scene that's for, for Ben Ever Superman. That's what everybody's right saying, comparing this to like uh, Tony Stark uh, Spider Man. It's exactly what they're saying. <laughs> but, <laughs> but all these, rep but I mean, everything sounds awesome from what these reporters are saying. They, they saw um, production footage, or like footage and uh, production art and stuff of like costumes and sets. What they said they saw was most of s Act 1 and Act 2. 
nothing out of Act Three, so they know no, no, they they know they know who the uh, we know who the villain is for sure. It's gonna be Steppenwolf. That was kind of like the deleted scene from from what's coming out uh, Batman vs Superman. Um, more like Wayne Tech is in this. He's got a new Batmobile. He's got this. They got this new uh, airship. Yeah, and he's got like this new kind of tank Batmobile that can like crawl over wreckage and stuff like that. So kind of like uh, from the Bell Batman. Movies or Miller book kind of tank. More Miller book. Miller book. Okay. Not so much tank, but like more like a four-legged vehicle that can walk over stuff. Oh. That's what they're describing. Contra style. Oh, Contra. <laughs> yes, yeah, he got the. He goes, he goes. What? Yeah, that one. That one there's, went over my head. There's one robot that. that you know yeah, robot. yeah, yeah. So for those that do know, you're welcome. Our 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 uh, our name Nerdy Entertainment Syndicate initials N E S, Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, we go way no, back. I didn't even, didn't so even we catch go that way one. back. Didn't even catch that yeah. one. Nah, you're a '90s kid, man. Yeah, my friend. No, you're a 2000s kid. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Mid. Because I'm a '90s kid. He's a, he's a millennial. Yeah. Is that that is that my <laughs> classification these days? All those. Yeah, like all this news that dropped out of the Justice League that set was, visits, that's like pretty cool, that's that, amazing. That I'm like, a, that must put you in a, like in a state where you're like, all right, okay, yes, we're going in the right direction then. Yeah, just just hearing about the team dynamic and oh, and they even talked about Superman coming back. So it's like, like I mean, kind of no spoilers really, because at the end of the first yeah. movie, you kind of he's not dead, you know. He's Superman can't die. But if you've seen, I don't know if these are doctored images or anything, but of Henry Cavill lately, he's got the long hair, so he might be coming back as, as, like, as just like in the, the reign of Superman yeah. with the black outfit, which all these mock-ups on like Instagram I've that I've seen, seen look really yeah. cool. So they're but saying that he won't be able to fly first, he's going to have to absorb with a suit or something? Oh, I don't know, but that aspect of it. Hmm. Who knows? But either way, that's cool. That's, that's, I was like so excited here. News. All that news that come out of it. Also, um, Jesse Eisenberg, Eisenberg is coming back as Lex Luthor. He's scheduled to start filming in August. Because they've already been filming for about three months. Jeez. Oh, wow. So, I mean, all this, I'm just ecstatic about yes. Justice League news right now. So, besides Suicide Squad, what's the next uh, movie DC? Wonder Woman. Out? Wonder Woman? Coming out next okay. year. So, the, like, along with that, actually, in Las Vegas, there was, like, a licensing expo. And they had, like... Uh, the logos, like all the movies, like the DC stuff, they had, they even had Green Lantern Corps incorporated in there. Oh, there was really? a Wonder Woman logo. There was like a banner with uh, Wonder Woman and like a new pose of her in her outfit and stuff. So, hopefully for San Diego Comic Con coming up next month, we'll actually maybe yeah, get a trailer even yeah. a trailer out of Wonder Woman. Would be freaking awesome. She's already done. Yeah. So uh, hopefully, man, that's cool. That's good. First time hearing it because I, I didn't catch up on that. Yeah, much. all Tuesday yeah, I was just awesome, like dude. listening to everybody, like because uh, I follow these websites, Collider and uh, Devin Faraci at Birth uh, Movies Death and and like all these other outlets, mm-hmm. and just hearing everybody talk about it, everybody's like more optimistic, more like excited for it now, because like a lot of those people that were invited over were some of the haters, which is kind of ballsy for. For Warner Brothers to kind of oh, like... No, cause, well, you know what? They probably had guns in the background. The whole, they don't <laughs> fucking like this. Bah, 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 bah. That's cool, though. That's good to know, though. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I really got nothing else much to add, man. I still have a stack of books I got to catch up on reading. That um, big old duffel bag full of them? Uh, yep, that <laughs> famous duffel bag. He always says, like, he picked up my bag. He's like, God damn, it's that heavy. He's like, I'm, it gets bigger and bigger because I don't read. <laughs> I was in doubt the first time you said it, man. I didn't think there was actually that much weight from comic books. I had figured there had to be something else in there. Fucking bowling ball or yeah. something. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I haven't done much this week. I haven't really done much gaming. No, but you got school. Just so. the reading. Yeah. Uh, just like the Rebirth stuff coming out. Mm-hmm. I mean, it continues to really be good. Flash, the Wonder mm-hmm. Woman. and uh, I got Titans. I don't know if I talked about Titans last week. No. That was another actual emotional issue. That's Wally West I gotta read that coming one. back I with the it. Titans. I gotta read it one out. Um, what else? Uh, I think it's just like the Rebirth stuff. I finally picked up my Infinite Crisis. So now I have most all the Crisis. I just gotta read those. And the last Crisis you really gotta pick up is Final Crisis. I, I picked it up already. Oh, so I have them all in my possession, but I just, no, just read them. Read through them. Yeah. Infinite Crisis and Infinite Earth is just a daunting task because it's... You can, you know what? This is funny. You can read a book 
up to date that is just as fat and but still won't match much. as content no. <laughs> just because of the panels it's like oh my god there's so much writing so much, so much writing yeah so much writing. which is cool but anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much it. This is pretty much game over for us. You got anything else? That'll do it for me. All right, guys. Uh, thank you, Nick. Appreciate you doing the trek out. Our Thanks again HQ. for stopping by. Oh, no problem. It was a lot of fun. Our HQ, I should say, headquarters here. At uh, the Watchtower. The mansion. I prefer a cave, honestly. Ooh. You can't argue with that one. Well, I mean, we're still exploring. <laughs> like I said, we'll sit in the Watchtower for a bit, see how that fits. I'm going to call my homies at the Avengers Mansion. But anyways, uh, this is Los. Drew. The Drew. And then Nick. What up? So uh, thank you again. Have a good night, guys. Later.